on a, a network rail job this week. Look at me. All orange. So I forgot to do any video on yesterday because I was I didn't get started till fucking twelve o'clock or something. So I just tried to get some cables done. Um, and this is them. So we've got the 16 300 mil singles. We've got eight done yesterday. Gonna come from there round up and in. And there's the terminations. The yeah, earth isn't terminated yet because it's the wrong size bolt uh, hole in the lug. So yeah, it's pretty simple really. Strip that one now. There's the, the cut. Goes up in that gap there. And then just drops straight down. Pretty straightforward. And then I've got that panel over there, which is 185s and the 16 of those to do. So that'll be the rest of, well, later on today, I'll get that started and then finish it tomorrow. Yeah, nice job. Now the only thing with this is you've got to put the way they come. Can you say that? The way they come along, you've got the bottom one. In the, they're in banks of four. So they come along and then the bottom one rises up. Here, look, and then drops in. But the top one then goes to that one, which is at the back. So, so far, all the way through, they've been okay. But when I get to these two here, there's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to tighten the, the lock nuts. But we'll see. I'm just getting this one stripped now. Could do the armouring challenge on this one. Dead easy. It's come off already. But uh, get that strip now, get the gland on, and I might even video that one going in.
careful with it. Because it's only aluminium, it cuts really quick. So if you go to, if you go to uh, too deep, you can go through to the core, the copper core. But I've done loads of them now, so I know exactly how deep I can go. But yeah, it's a good, uh, good, good way to do the armouring challenge. Right, I'll have a go at the armouring challenge now. at the back. I'll manage it I imagine but I think we're going to be a bit of a chew. There's the termination, just can't really see that. There we go. There's the terminations. So the, like fortunately for me now, it's the front th front four, the easy ones that are going on. So although the gland might prove to be a pain in the ass, the termination should be relatively easy. Yes, I'm quite on with that. in to turn the lock nut on to that so I'm putting that one in first and then as that one sits there hopefully this one here will go past it on this side and up and then I can get that one in underneath it does mean that the, the measure's got to be absolutely spot on but they're pretty much spot on anyway, all the way across. So, we'll have a look at it now. That was a good decision made. Put the grips up to get hold of the lock nut. It's tight enough as it is, but you imagine another cable there coming down. There's, there's nowhere for them to go. You, you've never got round there. So, I'm quite happy with myself there. An executive decision. That's what that was. So here we go. Glands on. All's ready. Oh yeah, that's another thing I meant to point out on every other one that I've done. They have to have a fibre washer on here apparently. <laughs> Why? I don't know because it's hardly open to the elements. But that's what the man wants, so that's what the man gets. Right, we're going to see if this fits.
I'd say that's pretty decent. Let's move over a little bit. From underneath. Just wants a little kick. Let's have a look. You can just see it's just out of line with the other one, but that's only, that's nothing. But you see a little kick over. And that, I'll have to drill some holes, but that is that done for the air thing. And then four cables to turn. And onto those bad boys over there. But they're only 185, which is going to be a lot easier, he says. This was the main cast today, 300mm crimper, I can't remember what it's called, the big cropper and the old Makita battery ratchet with a supporting cast of, well, I suppose he was a main, a main player of hand, hand tools and stuff. The main one really. Ah. You shouldn't be able to do it without that. Anyway, that's that. I'm gonna crack on with those 185s now, see how far I get the day.